Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Yeah, no, that top break card, though, was good shit, though. And like I said, it was just one of three cards. And the other one, you know, second one with the Matrim card, you know, like I said, the Matrim card, again, you know, shit had upset, had a comeback KO. Yeah, those are the candidates. And then the first fight, which me and Pi were talking about earlier with Thomas Matisse and Romero Cecina, that was a hell of a slugfest. Like, that shit was a stupid slugfest. Like, that you know, was crazy from the. I was worried about my boy Matisse. He was getting. Wally Wop early on. Yeah, he, he was. was. Like, you know, he, he was eating well, all types of bullshit. And Matisse was only throwing like shit, one right hand at a time, but the right hands were landed. The first know? couple rounds, but, you know, by the third, I felt like he kind of adjusted and, and kind of started, you know, third or fourth round and kind of picked, picked it up a little bit. And then Cecina picked it up a little bit. That's yeah, Cecina right. picked it back up. Yeah, he was yeah. getting rocked again. And it got to the point where they were like, yo, like, and, and Matisse is cornered. And finally, this is one of the rare times that the zone actually, actually, we were able to hear it. It's like, yo, the zone's like, yo, you gotta drop this dude, else you're gonna lose the fight. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So Matisse went out there, he, he squared up and was just like, boom, like he was like planted and boom, like throwing the right hands. And Cecina was like, you know, he could take it, but then you know he took one too many right hands and got drunk off that shit. And yeah, then he, he, went, he went for the gusto. That was that was the last round, right? That was 10 yeah, rounds. that was the last round. And it's then he got 10. to the point where. Cecina was getting blasted on the ropes, like you know, like yeah. yeah now like, people, people thought that I don't know if you watched all that fight, dice, but people thought that was a, a worse. Um, I heard more about that stoppage than the Shakur stoppage. Yeah, yeah, people, yeah, the crowd was booing that. Like, crowd was literally they booing. booing it. It. I was like, well, because he's messing I, I saw nothing wrong with it, but he's yeah. like, but you can't allow you can't allow a puncher to hit you like that over and over, over and, and over, over yeah, over and over. So yeah, no, he should have hugged he, him or something. But it was, like, I mean, if you guys, yeah, if you didn't see that stoppage, that was. Yeah, because yeah, because Matisse was down on all. Yeah, Matisse was down all all the cards. Uh, one really, like, oh, he was really down. Like, so it was like, you yeah, know, that was that was, that was a comeback of that was a comeback of the year. And uh, salute, Henny God, see you in there, salute. Yeah, that's that that shit that shit set off the card nice. And I thought it would continue with Ray Ford and Magdaleno, but Magdaleno looks like he might be like washed, <laughs> like. Like Ray Ford, pretty much did because Ray Ford was so much bigger than Ray Ford. It was like Aaron. It was like Anderson Arias is like, wait a minute, you know, I'm that much bigger than you. Let me just whoop your ass, and that's what yeah, he that's did. That's what he did. Yeah, that's yeah. what he did. Yeah, he, he, yeah. Like, uh, Magdalena, he tried. God bless him, but he was just catching some heat, and I think he got dropped in one of the rounds, but he got up. You got, he got dropped twice, I think. He yeah, he dropped off. twice. Yeah, he got dropped twice. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Could have went for the kid, you know, I, he, people think he's a you know quote unquote bum because he had a few lucky decisions, but he he's, he got skill, he got skill and talent. Yeah, he does, and you know, and the and I, but I was more surprised at Magnum because I thought Magnum would at least given him a harder challenge. Yeah, he didn't, even, he didn't even give him a fight. What that was Yeah, weird. he didn't give him a fight. I was like, what the fuck. <laughs> I was like, your only loss was to Dog Bay, and you've beaten Nonito Donaire. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, getting, like getting your ass whooped by Ray Ford. Like, I think Dog, Dog, Dog Bay stopped him, right? Yeah, Dog Bay stopped him, but it was a it was a back and forth fight. It was back and forth, yeah. I remember yeah, that. Ray Ford just beat his ass. Like, you know, yeah. I, was, I was like, damn, I thought it was be more competitive. I mean, I can't knock him. Like, you know, he did what he had to do, but. You know, Ray Ford could have actually stopped him. Should have, I mean, but yeah, but yeah, that's. that's not, oh, that's I see Ray Ford be like. Hit and miss sometimes. Like. Nah, this is my thing with Ray Ford. You got the, the wrong pressure fighter that can get him against the ropes is going to be a problem for him because uh, I've seen him a few times when he was struggling and getting pressed against the ropes and he is like getting wet, you know, beat up on. Yeah, so, like, like people that let off shots on him. Like. But he's he got skill and talent. He's gotten better from those from that that gifts the couple gifts he got. So yeah, no, yeah, Magdalena. Yeah, I think Magdalena might be really done. Like I was he's just done, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was done. just like, damn, you're supposed to give this nigga a hard fight, yeah. and you know, and he just uh, yeah, no. But I mean, I can't, I can't because uh, Rayford is like number two in the ranking, so he's yeah. closing in on a title shot, and he just and he just beat down a former world champion. So like, you no, know, I can't, I can't knock it. Like he did. I don't know if he's for Lari yet, but I mean, you know, eventually you got to give him a shot. I mean, I don't know against who, but but you know, next year or something, early next year. Yeah. And then, of course, the fight that the boxing gods decreed was going to have to lose, you know, to Pilot and Akhmedaliev. You know, Pilot, your countryman actually pulled it off. I didn't think I he picked would've. them too. Uh, I don't win. <laughs> yeah, you picked them. You know, yeah, let's go. Yeah, we'll we'll tell you back. Back. We back. We back, Pinoy. We back. Fuck MJ. Thank God. Ooh. Yeah, you know, and in the first to Pilot, he fought us. He fought a, a very smart fight. I will say it was kind of slow paced, but he fought a really slow. He, he fought 
Like he, because Tapaz was catching him with all types of like left uppercuts and shit like that. Like, like I don't know. Was it like a, like what kind of performance was it? Like, how did he beat the champ? Did he like take it, take it? Like, well, he took like, a close fight. He, was, he, well, he took it. He took it. He did enough to take. It. Oh, okay. but it was close though. It was like eight four ish. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like one, a one, one, one judge was smoking crack, but you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Judge, I think it was one eighteen, one ten, right? Yeah, he gave it like eight, yeah, he gave it like ten to two. Uh, yeah, ten to two for MJ. Yeah, he was he was smoking crack. So. Yeah, I, I think I think, I think, I think, he, I think he was just tired of Akbar Dallas, so he's like, you know what? Fuck this motherfucker, man. Let me just give to Palace this wide ass score. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a bad score. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you know, you know it, 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 it wasn't that wide a fight, but to Palace, though, what? But Akbadev, he woke up in the second half of the fight and he was trying to come back though, but the palace held firm. Like he was, So he was getting like outworked or outboxed? He got outworked. He got he got outworked. Yeah. And outboxed at times. And outboxed at times. Yeah. Oh, okay. So so okay, dude fought a little bit. You know, he had yeah, some yeah, because you know because you know Akbadev, you know, because you because you know he because he had the broken hand and he was kind of bullshitting about the fights he was supposed to take and he was so fucking big and you know he was out for so long it's like that shit oh, caught yeah, up he was big as fuck too yeah yeah uh, yeah so it, it, that shit caught up to him and you know and, and i know aqua dev had the nerve to be like all oh, surprised that he lost the fight but nah like you didn't like you like you know you you can't fight that behind in thinking that you know you go you gotta try to it's not like the Danny Roman fight where you did that shit. Like, no, like you can't, you can't do that all the time. Nah, but he was hurting Roman in a sense where he wasn't really fighting behind. Like, mm-hmm. he, he kind of almost him. made Roman fight behind him because he was fearing the power a little bit and the yeah, explosiveness. He, was, he wasn't doing none of that to Tapalos. So. Yeah, Tapalos. Yeah, he helped. Damn. Him. So, no, yeah, that, 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 he, I mean, they were landing, they were trading shots. So it was competitive. I mean, he didn't wash him, but definitely, I think the right guy won the fight. Yeah, I mean, oh, Tapaz. Okay. I mean, I mean, obviously, if you bet on him, you got you. I think he was like plus 400, 450 or some shit like that. He came up. Oh, yeah. really? well, Tapaz is probably not gonna have to do it again. Probably is he on PBC? What? I, 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 Tapaz, because he was fighting. He fought on PBC before this shit. Boy, so it's yeah, like, yeah. who knows? But I, I don't think. But you know, Eddie's gonna be like, well, wait a minute. Like, they gotta run it back and shit. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're gonna find we're gonna find some sort of rematch clause yeah. in here. But you're gonna you gotta you gotta run these fucking belts back. Nah. Yeah. It, it looks bad because you know MJ was a duck. I mean, you know, for the longest time, old Fulton's ducking. You know, MJ. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you probably heard that. You guys heard Fulton that. Right? Was, Fulton wasn't ducking MJ. No, 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 MJ that. was probably ducking. Fulton. MJ was ducking Fulton. I'm saying MJ was ducking Fulton. They didn't want to put MJ anywhere near anybody. They don't want to put MJ in. Forget about forget about Fulton or anyway. Like MJ would get cooked by Ali. And Neri, I think Neri would be. I think Neri would have beat MJ. To be honest, like MJ, MJ ain't shit. Yeah. So and and it caught up to him. So like, hey, I mean, Tapalos, man, new new unified champion. Hey, and all he does now, he waits for now Monster and Fulton because he's now because like he has those fights now. Because I mean, what Hearn can't really do anything. I mean, if, unless he digs up a, a rematch clause out of his ass, <laughs> you know, some shit like that. But uh, you know, but uh, yeah, that, that was a good look. Because Akwadev, he needed. I think he needed to be humbled a little bit. So the boxing gods gave him that. That was his. That was, that was the boxing gods' gift to him. You gotta be humbled. <laughs> yeah. And then the main event. The main event wasn't really all that great. Like I mean, Bam, he beat dude because the dude was kind of like moving this way and that. But that was, not Gonzalez, good, that was not a good fight. That was not a good fight. Yeah, but this Gonzalez. Is, the second time Bam looked mid. I'm going to just say that. The second time Bam looked Bam. Yo, but did this dude put hands on Bam or yeah, Bam just Bam. looked mid? He broke his jaw. He broke his, he jaw. Broke his jaw. Oh, yeah, he, he broke his jaw. He put hands so the fight was competitive or dude just had a big, couple I mean, good moments? This dude looked big. I mean, I was paying halfway. I'm not going to lie. I was paying like three quarters of attention. I mean, Bam, like, Bam. Bam won. Like, he definitely won the fight. Bro. Yeah, he won the fight, though. But the problem is. Yeah, but he has put on it. Yeah, but the problem was. Yeah, no, what what did you say, P? I said that he convincingly won the fight, but there were times where he just had his hands get had hands put on it. Like, he did. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then like I said, in one of those hands, because now they confirm he, he uh, Bam got his jaw broken two places. So God like, damn! He, so that was a win, win. <laughs> and I mean, and I mean, saying Bam's kind of a smaller guy. I mean, you know, it's one twelve, but that guy seemed much taller than him. Dude, even but, even but I mean, y'all saying like old boxing media act like he's the best thing since sliced bread. Like that's what I'm yeah. saying. But I mean, he he looked. You saw last performance, right? He, yeah, he looked, yeah. Yeah, he he looked mid tastic. Honestly, he's looking a little mid again. I mean, he, he, he did decent, I guess. But everybody thought he was going to stop this guy. He fought. 
didn't really deserve a title shot. This guy was, you know, meant to be to get KO'd, you know what I'm saying? But now he but now he now Bam set back because he managed to break dude's jaw in two places. Like when you break someone's jaw in two places, that's not you don't come back from that really quickly. Like you, he's gonna we be don't get that sunny fight anytime yeah. soon. Yeah, like that's surgery shit. Like he's he's so, going I mean, to be sunny who do you think Sunny Sunny versus Bam? Sunny Edwards. Sunny. I think Sunny. sunny. So yeah, Sonny is funny as fuck, though. I have to admit, I'm coming around to him. His Twitter is crafty. Funny. He's actually pretty crafty for it. Yeah, I mean, you know, GCM. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, it's too bad his fights aren't aren't as exciting as his Twitter posts. But, <laughs> yeah, no, but, you know, yeah. yeah. And then I know JCM got the he, other belt. I mean, so, I mean, uh, he could he could beat Bam in a very ugly, spoiler, disgusting fight. But he could. He could he's a lot. He's definitely a lot dog. I think both be JCM though. Both be Julio Cesar Martinez though. That's not, that's yeah, that dude's a, that, that dude's a head case. You yeah. know, like uh, so yeah. the, I mean, I think, is he is he still in Canelo's camp? If so, the, I mean, he's he's yeah. due to lose yeah. again soon. Like. Yeah, he's still under Eddie. I know he's, he's still with Eddie Hearn. He's fighting on the Canelo undercard. Of course he is. <laughs> he's, he's he's fighting on the Canelo undercard against a nobody, not nobody, but someone. Yeah, yeah but bam. all I know is Chocolatito to beat his ass. Yeah. And Taco yeah, Tito now, now is probably finished too, which is unfortunate. You know, that's so it's like another young nigga scout. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying though? But um yeah, the matching car like you know for it was I mean it was a good show. I mean Eddie like I said, a good US car for Eddie is is a win for him because it's like whatever it was, I mean it wasn't it wasn't you know it wasn't trash. That was for damn sure. 